actually nice. I'm feeling cool being on. That depression is our wellness. It exists for me. Well, top of the day to you all viewers. It is so interesting and I'm so happy to be back on the on the show to take us on what I just you know on emotional wellness which is the need for the moment. Everybody needs to talk about it. And then there's, there's something about this mental, because uh, today I don't want to take us on what we call emotional scourge, on emotional scourge. And emotional scourge is another, another name for it is actually depression, which is like a ringing, you know, ringing bell all over. Everybody wants to know what do we mean by, emo uh, by depression. It is also uh, a public mental health issue. And so I will go straight forward to, to add, I mean, define what depression is. Now, this is a, an illness that is characterized by intense sadness. Now, if you look at yourself and say, I'm feeling sad, then that means I'm depressed. No, you might be very wrong because uh, depression is characterized by intense sadness. And, is, and not only that, it also means uh, you losing ability, you know, to do some of the things that you usually love doing. You lost interest. Now, you don't, you, you, don't, you don't want to watch TV. You don't want to go. You don't want to do sports. You don't want to associate. You isolate yourself from other people. And also, you, you, uh, you stay away from friends, family, and loved ones. Not only that, you experience uh, you know, what I call lethargy. That is a loss of energy. You feel so weak. You feel so uneasy. Some people actually feel so you know, irritable. And some people, they are hostile. And then there are other, other symptoms, too, of depression. There's uh, this uh, reduced concentration. You seem to daydream at, uh, a lot, and you seem so edgy. You can't really understand so many things because you, you, you are not really in your right state of mind. And also depression is a feeling, is a feeling of sadness, is a feeling of hopelessness, of helplessness, of worthlessness, of helplessness. It's a feeling that you, 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 you have that you are not able to overcome. That's a feeling of sadness. And before you know it, it becomes a mood. It becomes a mood that you cannot readily, readily you know, get over. And before you know it, it affects your outlook. It affects your behavior. And it also affects the way you think about so many things. Because you are concentrating on the, on the, on, on the sad side, on, on the dark side of life. And you feel that there is no help help. Also, I need to tell us that depression is actually a medical condition, you know, that has to do with the, narrow, the, the neurotransmitter. And also, another interesting way for us to understand what, um, uh, what depression is, is that it is, uh, it, is, it is the suffering of the mind. I always say, so many people go through a lot of suffering, but it's actually the suffering of the mind. You know, some people, you might just be looking yourself and all that, but internally, there's some scourge, there's some things that, that you are actually going through that you don't really have a way out of it. I also need to note here that you know, this depression that we are talking about, the mood, it can be, it can be moderate. You know, this sadness can be moderate. It can also be, you know, um, you know in, whenever it is severe. That is when the thought of self-harm and, I mean, a suicide come in. And at times you find yourself crying. But there's always a way out. Depression, and it, the, the interesting news about depression is that it is treatable. All you need to do, do is share your feelings with somebody. You know, tell somebody, don't keep it to yourself. You need to talk about it. And I believe that uh, I've just given you one lifeline. And as we proceed in this program, I'll be sharing a lot of other lifelines with you on how to overcome this emotional scourge. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for listening. Bye. Until next time, stay emotionally fit and healthy. I love you. Actually, nice. I'm feeling cool being on that depression. Is now, well, this is a zest for me. I'm going to say, wait, this is a zest for me.